The reason we're here is because we know something's going to happen. And it's the people that aren't here who don't know, which is you know, kind of a problem when it does happen. We will have an earthquake. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It may be that it will uh, take some uh, tragedy for us to uh, wake up and, and start to deal with the problem. It's just a matter of time before a big damaging earthquake hits Los Angeles. So that's why we keep encouraging people to be even better prepared. If you look at the catastrophic event, if you will, um, we have a long ways to go. Because I think the biggest thing is, is living in California, seismic events aren't um, once in a lifetime. They're pretty commonplace. The symposium is really important to me because at the end of the day, it's about public safety. Check your supplies, check your procedures, check your drills, and make sure that you're ready for the big one that is coming down the road sometime. This kind of forum is very important, so we can speak out, we let the people know there's a risk with the how to fix it. Right now, not after the fact. This symposium has brought together people from a number of different areas, engineers, emergency managers, architects, and it's a, a very interdisciplinary mix that we have going on here. And for me, it's been really enlightening. For me, this is really exciting to see government and schools and universities and various businesses actually come together and, and really have an honest and open dialogue about preparedness. The symposium itself is a, is a good chance to get like-minded uh, technical people, uh, you know, talking with each other and discussing uh, what they're doing. I think it's a, it's a good place for exchange of ideas and exchange of information. It's certainly interesting and fun uh, to be part of a meeting where it's a, it's a little broader and, and you're taking out of your, your uh, comfort zone to just think in this narrow tunnel. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed that aspect of the symposium today. Uh, everybody prepares for earthquakes individually. They don't prepare together. And this was really the first symposium that's demanding people to start to prepare together, start to communicate about different ideas, and really get on the same page and make it one holistic response rather than a series of individual responses. It's a lot about education. We heard that a lot today. To make more progress, we can educate more people. Well, the goal really is to increase earthquake awareness. The more that we discuss this, the more that we uh, look at data and uh, become a bit smarter about it, uh, the better prepared we can be to uh, face those events. We haven't seen any massively destructive earthquakes in so many years, so uh, we get complacent, and it's good to keep people, uh, to keep the, the, uh, the seismic safety issue in front of people's minds. Uh, the symposium today was fantastic. Uh, it exceeded my uh, uh, wildest expectations. I thought it went really well. A lot of great ideas, a lot of information sharing, a lot of people who've never met each other before got a chance to say hi and uh, get to know what the other person was doing and uh, how maybe they can work together. So we have huge problems to solve. Um, that's the challenge, uh, but it's also why we have to get, we got to get busy doing it. We can do better than we're doing. We are not ready for a very large earthquake still in California. We need to have more of these. It's, it's obvious that the, the discourse between the, such a, a large and diverse group is, is good. Unfortunately, all too often, uh, it takes major disasters to change what we do. And after a few years, we tend to forget. Uh, earthquakes don't forget, they keep happening.